to sweep powder off my face. I don't like this. Like clean up. Like it's a clean up brush. I don't know. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be reviewing the Lunar Beauty Holiday Collection. I got the whole collection. I got the face palette. I got the lippies. I got the brushes. I'm really excited to share my thoughts and try these with you guys. I absolutely love Lunar Beauty. It is one of my favorite indie brands. I will also be using like full face Lunar Beauty situation. So without further ado, we're going to get right into this review and this look. So this comes with a how to use the outer dimension palette. So how to use moon, how to use sun. So sun is the lighter side, moon is the darker side. And it tells you what brush, how to use it too. Okay, cool. And it tells you what comes in the entire collection. This is so pretty. I actually really love this card. I'm not going to keep it, but it is really pretty. And it tells me, ooh, the prices of everything. Also, oh my god. They look so good, so warm, so pretty. I love that. I love this little bag. This is cute. It's just like a plasticky, I don't know how you would say that, but you see what it is. Like latex almost. And then it comes full of brushes. So I'm just going to briefly go through these guys with you. I have never bought his brushes. I will say that this is a first for me when it comes to this brand. So we have the LBF5. This brush is $10. And this is a fluffy, light face brush. This is the double-sided brush. Oh my gosh, I love... These are really soft hairs. Like, really, really soft. It's a dual-ended brush. And this is $15. So the next one I have is an LBF3. And that is an angled cheek brush. And that retails for $12. I love this. I love the detail here. This, like, gradient effect that happens. I cannot, these are so fucking soft. Like they are so soft. I'm excited for this guy. Oh my gosh, this is a hunky chunky brush. Oh my God, I love this. Ooh, this reminds me of, I think I have an hourglass brush like this and it's so nice. Oh my God, it's so soft. It's so soft. I can't even, oh my God, I love it. So this is the LBF one. This is an $18 brush. And when I tell you $18 for a brush this size with this many hairs and this saw for $18, that's a steal. My hourglass brush was like 40 bucks. I have another Sephora brand brush that was like 30 something. And then I think I have a Morphe one, but it came in an actual like bundle, which was like $98. So, but this is wow. Wow, this feels really luxe. I love this. So this one is the LBF2, which is $14. This is a round foundation buffer brush. Ooh, I'm excited to use this today, but it's so soft. Like, I don't know that I want to put oh, creams on it. It is dense. It's thick right here. Wow. Oh, this is an LBF4, and this is a perfect cream brush. I don't know that I would use this for cream because it's so... They're so soft and I feel like as soon as you do that, you're gonna, you're gonna ruin it. <laughs> you're going to ruin it. And then the last one I have in here is the LBF6 and this is a highlighting brush and this is $10. So this definitely does remind me, um, I won't say the f hairs, the hairs are way more luxe than the Morphe one, but this reminds me of their M510, just the shape of it, but this is so much softer. Those brushes are, those bristles are really, really tough and hard. I really like the brush from Morphe, but the bristles are really tough, but this is really, really soft and really nice. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the palette before I get into the lippies. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love this. And this palette retails for $49. Oh my gosh, look, and it's raised here. And look at that iridescent -y holographic. Oh my gosh, this is this is heavy. This is nice. So here is the layup of the palette. Oh, that is pretty. So you have the sun side and the moon side. These are gonna be like your setting powders, highlighting powders. These are gonna be your bronzing. I don't think they're contour. I know that he said he has a darker shade you can kind of mix into these to make them more cool tone, more dark. But for the most part, these look like more bronzing shades. Honestly, you could use this palette for a lot of different things. Or if you are a makeup artist, you could definitely use this palette because this palette would be amazing for multiple skin tones and undertones. For me, my thing is I could use this palette, like I'm gonna use it today, for my face and for my eyes. Like this is just a go-to one and done palette. 
and I'm loving that. I absolutely, oh my gosh, we haven't had a face face palette like this in a while, have we? Okay. So we're going to move on to the lipsticks real quick, and then we're going to get into the look. So you get four lippies here. So you get three lip glosses, one liquid lipstick, the lip glosses are 17, the liquid lipstick's 18, normal price. So you get Divine, which is like a pinky shimmer. And if you guys don't know, Lunar Beauty is literally, so Fenty is my favorite gloss of all time. Hands down Fenty, then Lunar Beauty, then Kylie. So I just really, really am excited that he, oh, I love his lip glosses. Oh, I'm just gonna put some right here. It is a pink gloss that comes off clear with pink shimmers. It's really, really pretty. This is like a silvery pink situation. Okay, then we're gonna go with Crystal. Oh my God, this one is the one I want. This is the one I want. Ah, I'm wiping this off. Okay, so this is called Crystal Kiss. You know what this is, ladies and gentlemen? This is what we've been waiting for. This is a completely clear gloss. No tint, no shimmer. Ugh. Oh my god, I will literally go back and buy 10 of these. I love this. I'm so excited. Thank you, Luna Beauty, for launching a clear gloss. So this is their first... This is called Jewel. This is their first pigmented lip gloss. I will swatch this one because it does have color. Um, I will not be replacing the clear gloss on my lips though. Oh my gosh. Smells just alike, like little cupcakes. Oh. Okay, I might. Let me, let me just give it a go. We're going to try it anyways. Oh my god. Okay, it's a messy ass swatch, but you get the point. It's very berry-like, and I like it. It's actually, it's very pigmented for a lip gloss. It's not a lip lacquer, so it's not going to be that thick, thick, heavy pigment. It's a lip gloss, so it's going to be a little bit more thin, a little bit more light. You can kind of dab it like this, and then it's just like a tint, or you can cake it on, or you can wear it with a liner, and it's going to give you, like, probably the most payoff that way. I absolutely love that they have a clear one now and I love that they have a colorful one I'm putting the clear one back on when I tell you I love clear gloss like just understand I absolutely love clear gloss okay and then the last lippy that we're getting into is perfection and this is the liquid lipstick please be a color that I can Ooh, I know it's light I knew it was light because I saw it on his video but okay that's not terrible I'm doing this again my lips are like, stop it already. This is definitely not the color for me. Uh, it completely makes me look like I'm sick, uh, which I knew that it would when I swatched it on my hand, but it is a little bit darker on my hand than it is on my lips. However, I will say that if I put a brown liner on, I have a lot of lip colors like this, and I wear a brown lip liner, and they kind of mix together and look really good, but this is really, really light on my lips. So, so I'm actually going to go into this palette for my eyes and for my face. The reason I chose or decided, I guess, to do like a natural, more nude, neutral makeup look with this palette is because I feel like you really can do so much with this palette that people don't even know. Like, there's so much that can be done. You look at this and you're like, oh, yeah, you know, use it on your face, whatever. But no, like, for real, this is the kind of palette I love because you can use it for so many different things. So I'm going to go into this one right here, which is Tan Sky, and I'm going to place that on my lid. It's almost like, do you know... Those like um, contour sets or whatever. Oh wow, that blends nicely. That Kim K came out with, KKW came out with. It's like that. It's basically the same thing and that's why I didn't really get the hype around those that she had because it was like, well, I can do that with any bronzer palette or in highlight palette I have. I do have them because they were on a closing sale cost, but for the amount that they actually were, I was just like, oh no, it smells really nice too. It's just so like easy and convenient. You grab this palette, you do your eyes, and you do your face with it. <sighs> I love that. And now I'm going to go in with the little bit lighter color bronze sky right here and put that above that to kind of just blend that out a little. This palette smells so good. Like I keep holding it so close to my face. It smells so good. And any one of these could have set my eyeshadow primer as well, but I'm so used to just using the Mario palette. I didn't even think about that. I'm going to go into deep sky, which is right here and just deepen 
that crease just a little with a pointed blending brush and as always guys my stuff anything I use on my face and I don't say what it is is always down below in the description and I always put links there if it's still available to purchase they are affiliate links so I do have to let you know that I do get a small portion of money back whenever you buy or purchase through my links and if you do I'm really thankful that you do but you don't have to I just put it down there for convenience so I hope it helps you guys but it's always down there and if anything is not linked it's because it's usually not available for purchase so like if I use something right now for KKW usually I just put it down there but I don't link it because you can't buy it so I like that darker shade on my outer corner a lot and I'm literally just keeping it like right here in the actual crease and that outer corner so I am going to go into peach sky and just put that on the front here I'm literally just placing it over the front corner and lid and up just just a smidge just to give it that like little bit of color like, it's just so like beautiful and light and glam and just easy 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 so moving on to my face all right so which one is the foundation brush foundation buffer brush okay so I'm only gonna I'm just doing a little at a time and it's a buffing brush so I'm gonna just use it as so so soft like legitimately one of the softest brushes I've ever used on my face and it is going down pretty far. I will say Laura Lee's doesn't go down as far because it's a really, really dense, so it stops it from absorbing, but you can see that it is kind of taking that product down there, so keep that in mind. I actually really, really like this brush. Like legitimately. This is, and it's so soft. So like when I'm patting on my face and buffing it, it's really, really soft. So I'm also going in with the Lunar Beauty sponge and I like to do that around my eyebrows and my forehead just because I don't like messing up my brows because I do my brows before I do the rest of my makeup. I like to just get in here. Places that like a big old brush can't. All right, so off camera, I went ahead and just put my concealer on because I wasn't using anything of importance. So I'm gonna go in and set my under eye first. I think I'm gonna go in with yellow sky in the inner corners and then probably peach sky on the outer. Okay, let's see. And I'm going in with that dual ended brush. I love this little brush. So nice, so nice. Wow, I get so, look at that, ooh. Okay. I think I'm gonna actually go in with a wet beauty blender on this side and see what payoff it gets. Oh, I like it. It's not heavy, which is so nice. So I love the Dragon Beauty Transformation Palette, but when I tell you guys, that powder is heavy, okay? This is like giving me those very beautiful like color situation, but without giving me the very heaviness of it, if any of that makes any sense. So I'm going to go in with this one under the peach sky just to do the rest of my under eye. I do tend to do that like often. I'll use the yellow for the inner corner just to give it a little brightening. And then I use a different peachy color on the outer. Palette's going to get really messy really fast though. I will say that. I hope I was allowed to touch this with a wet beauty sponge. That's my favorite way to apply powder. I'm only really using the brushes because I'm reviewing them. Wow, look at my skin. All right, so now I'm going to go in that bright sky which is like the lightest color and I'm gonna get it all over it's like a translucent the powder brush and just set the rest of my face so I'm using this one now all over my face just to kind of see and I usually do not do that but I wanted to use the big brush today and I don't have like any like flashback or color issues okay I really love what's that what that has done to my inner corners I am loving this. Okay, cool. And it's not super messy still. I mean, it definitely, the, these are a little bit messier, but it's not super crazy messy. So we're going to go into some bronzer. Um, they have a slanted brush, but I'm going to go into that perfect cream bronzer or perfect cream brush that he has. I don't really do cream products, so I'm going to go in with Tan Sky. And I just, this brush is, to me, not really a cream product brush. I would use this with powder, so I can do what I want. Let's see what we got here. Holy moly. Manny did say he didn't make it super pigmented. Like, if you use a, some bronzers, 
they're so pigmented that like you're kind of like you just put a whole streak on and you're like fuck so he said that he made these to be more buildable so you can choose your level of bronze oh my god how are you? so i go in with this one and i kind of lay down my bronzer how i want it and then i will go in with that angle brush and blend it out but that looks so good all right so now i'm gonna go in with the angled brush just a little like literally i don't even use that much and it is pretty pigmented like he says that it isn't and it's buildable but i recommend going in with a very light hand because i've gotten quite a bit of pigment from just like a little dab so and there's nothing wrong with it being more pigmented but i don't know how i feel about this brush i'm very weird about my angle brushes and I just feel like it's not doing what I need it to do. Yeah. I will say I'm not a fan of that one. So now that we have the face powder on, I'm going to go into my blush. And I'm going to be using a couple of his brushes. I'm going to go into the angle brush and wipe it down and see if I can use it for... I'm just going to go like this. Try to mess it up a little. I just prefer them to be wider and it's just so thin. I'm going in with his blush palette, and I'm going to go in the shade Twilight, which is one of my favorite. And just... Yeah, I just don't know how I feel about this angle brush. It's okay. I do love a good blush, though. And we're going to go into... Where's that other fancy-ass brush? Here it is. So this one, which is the LBF6, we're going to go into his Greek Goddess Highlighting Palette, which is one of my favorite items from his collection. And I think today I'm going to go in with Medusa, like I always do. I don't know why I even pretend it as if. So it picks up nicely. Let's see how it lays down. Oh, okay. So I love this. It is a very firm and like goes exactly where you want it to go. <sighs> Told you. His highlighter is no joke. Oh, I guess I should put it on the other side of my face, huh? And I use big brushes like this to kind of like put everything together. So if I feel like my highlighter or my blush is too much, I will literally go over that with this brush that had powder on it and just kind of like tame it down. Like calm down, you don't need to be that shiny. So I'm going back into Tan Sky. It smells like, um, I'm trying to think of like what it smells like. Coconuts maybe? The palette, like um, sun tan lotion. That's what it smells like. I love this bronzer. So I'm going to go into Muse, which is right above Medusa, and do that for my inner corner. Very nice. Very, very nice. Alright, so I'm going to hop off camera. I'm going to put my lashes on, and then we'll be right back for the lips and my final thoughts. Alright, so I'm going in with a lip liner because I know that I'm going to wear the clear gloss. This is by a company called Beauty Vault. It's another indie brand. And I don't know the shade of this lip liner. Cozy Kira. And I'm just going to line my lips with it. Oh, I hate that I'm going to mess this up. Oh, yeah. I love this clear gloss. Sharma. It's so pretty. It's so glossy. Thank you, Lunar Beauty, for coming out with a clear gloss that we all love. All right, guys. So that is it. That is it for this look. That is it for this video. My hair is a mess. I don't know what's happening, but I have some likes. I do have some dislikes. I have some loves, and I think that's that's just kind of where we are. So the palette itself, I'm sure that is the main reason everyone is here. I definitely think that this is something you should have in your makeup collection. I think that depending on who you are like me, my skin tone changes throughout the year, okay? So having this many different bronzers and highlight powders is actually amazing. I also think that it'll be absolutely amazing for someone who maybe is a makeup artist, who's traveling often and all that and needs to have like multiple dimensions and multiple colors. So I absolutely love Tan Sky. That is my shade and Peach Sky and Yellow Sky. I used three of these. So the only one I didn't use was the pink one. So I 
powders for me it just depends on where it's being placed and how it's being placed is what color I use so having multiple is awesome because I don't have to have six different powders on my desk and as for like the eye look that I did I, when I tell you that this is something I do very often this is not like a oh my god lunar beauty exclusive this is just one of my go-to makeup looks literally taking a bronzer and a highlight powder or palette and just kind of doing the eyes as well so it's definitely not something new I actually really really enjoy doing it it's very fast it comes out very smoky very sultry but it's so easy so I definitely think that this is a plus this is a must this is definitely and look at just look at I want to get like a plate holder and sit it up like as display because this is so beautiful hands down Lunar Beauty is like number one in the game for packaging and aesthetics because this is like come on this is to die for I love this I definitely think that this is worth the buy however let's talk about some brushes the angle brush I didn't really care for I just wish that it was a little less dense and a little wider the highlighting brush I loved the powder brush dude get this if you don't get any of this you don't get the whole brush collab get this $18 for a humongous powder brush that's this soft is like it's a steal it's an absolute steal um, I love this double-ended brush it also reminds me of my hourglass one that I have but this one is actually softer than my hourglass one so those two these two are definitely like must-haves this one was really good the only problem is I can see how much foundation it actually absorbed into it it didn't go all the way down which is really good which means that it's very dense in here however it did it went it went like it went pretty far so I would just say um, maybe no swiping just buffing with this brush if you get it but I really like the handle because it's not super skinny and tiny but I also love how soft this is um, and then the last brush this one I'm actually I don't really know what I'm gonna do with this because it's like it's like it wants to be an angle brush but it's like super flimsy like a highlighting brush maybe it's just like a like sweep to sweep powder off my face I don't like this like clean up like it's a cleanup brush I don't know but I don't ever foresee me using this one so that's the only issue I have with that it's not that it's a bad brush I just I don't have any need for a brush like that I guess but as for the lippies I absolutely love all of them the perfection liquid lipstick obviously like I said is going to be one that I have to mix with a lip liner because it is a little bit light but as for the glosses man y'all know where I stand with that second favorite company with lip glosses and now there's a clear one I need some lip lacquer from him because I think with his like his lippies are so amazing they're just the formula is amazing so I think that if he made a lip lacquer it would be like top tier so Manny if you're listening lip lacquer top tier okay I'm so excited I'm so thankful that he made a clear one because I will be going back now that I tried it I mean I had to try it just to make sure that I would like it I knew that I would like it but I still had to try it before I bought a lot of them um, just like Fenty I will be going back to get probably five of these clear glosses uh, because I go through clear gloss like nobody's business I prefer gloss over lip balm so that's why I mean it's like lip balm to me if that makes any sense but I hope you guys enjoyed this video I know it was kind of long because I did a full face but I hope you really enjoyed it let me know down below if you're getting this collection or you have gotten this collection what are your thoughts on the face palette and the brushes and as always guys if you enjoyed my video give it a thumbs up for me before you go and I will see you guys on the next one bye